Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to my channel. And today I'm looking at a product that was gifted and I was compensated to make this review from Fada. It is a doorbell or garage door opener button or switch. What's cool about this one, if this one it, it lights up, it has a light up LED, it lights up green, which is, I like that actually quite a bit. We're actually gonna install this in my garage, so stick with me, watch this video, and I'm gonna show you how to install it as well, not just do the review. We're gonna show you how to install it. Uh, so it has two, uh, two leads in the back, has red, uh, and there's one red one and number two, um, and basically you can't mess it up. Mess it up, honestly. You hook it up one way or the other way. It's gonna work no matter what. Even if you're confused about your doorbells, um, doorbell or if your garage door, it's basically a switch, on-off switch. Uh, it has the power 12 volt, and it actually lights up the LED. And you have a connecting that connects the switch that makes the, the connection basically open and close. Simple as that. It does come with two screws, which is nice, and they sit flush mount. I like the way they sit here. It looks very, very nice and very, very clean. I like that quite a bit. Uh, and it's just it's very, very easy, very simple operation. The instructions are in here very clear. Uh, it does say it is not compatible with yellow learning, yellow learning garage door. So if you have a, a garage door that has a yellow learning uh, system to it, this won't work, it says. Uh, but most, a lot of garage doors don't have that. I don't have one. So we're going to install this in my garage door because mine's kind of dirty and grungy, doesn't light up. This is a nice one. So we're going to take a look at that. Super easy. It's not that complicated from a level to one to like uh, 10. It's probably like a two. Uh, very easy to do. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Again, two screws, two connections, two screws, and you're done. You can't go any, you can't get wrong. You can't get any harder, any easier than that, honestly. Uh, just make sure you disconnect the power. Now, if you're not uh, familiar with using anything with electricity or anything with con like that, just hire a professional if you're not sure how to do it. But honestly, this is definitely a how-to at home, uh, definitely a DIY uh, project. So super easy to do, two wires, two screws. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, so you can see my uh, garage door right here. Uh, Bell is kind of nasty, like I said. Very similar, but does not light up. I want to show you that. Uh, so I'll just take out these two wires, take out these two screws, replace the switch. Super easy. I'm going to show you how I shut my light off in my garage. So you can see, see, it is dark, and there is. I put my light on here. It does not light up. You can see this doorbell does not light up. Uh, so that's a big deal. So if it's if it's dark and you can't see the bell, that's going to be a helpful quite a bit. So we're definitely going to get that uh, changed. And uh, let's go. Hey everyone, I just want to take a moment to thank you all for watching your review channel. Now, if I brought you some value and some education, please consider buying us a cup of coffee. What that does is help support our channel. Everything we do raise goes back into the channel and make more videos to give you more education. And that's what it's all about. So I do appreciate all your time and energy in watching my videos and I'll see you at the next one. So next thing you want to do guys is unplug a garage door. That's super important. We don't want to get a shock. Uh, so just unplug the garage door. Like that, the garage door light is out. Uh, and that's how you unplug that. This is for something else. This is for the garage door. So make sure you unplug that garage door. Make it easy for yourself. Make it safe. We'll get the power disconnected. And we're going to take off the old bell. Super easy. This is two screws right here. Definitely an easy to change. Easy fix for you to do. And if you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't mean a lot to me. Hopefully something like this helps you out. And if it does, please consider subscribing to the channel. It makes a big deal and it makes a lot of help. It's a lot of help for me. Okay, so let's take a look here what we have. So we have, oops, sorry about that. We have two, two wires in here and these are bell wires. That's what they call them. Okay, and we have a white and an orange, which is probably the red. And let's just take these off. I mean, that just comes right off. As you can see, they come right off really easy. Not difficult at all to change these, super easy. Let's take a look at this closely. Let's see what we have. Doesn't say really anything on on this on the switch itself, but you can see here where this can, uh, lag is. One has this metal, one does not have the metal on it. Let's take a look at the the new bell. Okay. One has the lag, one doesn't. So we'll put the this orange color is probably red. It belongs on top, I would say so for sure. Right. I'll unscrew that. That's easy enough. Like I said, this is very easy. You can do it yourself. You don't have to hire anybody. I'm gonna attach the white wire. And this bell wire is very easy to work with. It's very pliable. It, 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 um, very easy to just wrap around and then to screwdriver and just tighten it up. And that's it. That's pretty much all you have to do. And then you just snug it in there, have your wire stick out like that. 
It's like you see here, and the two screws are gonna go pretty much where the old one went. That is that. I mean, you can't get any easier than this, guys. That is unbelievable. Amazing. I love it. That'll work. Boy, there's no. I think I don't have to make any new holes. Okay. That looks great. I love the way that looks. All right. All right. Cool. All right. Looks good. Let's um, plug it back in and see if it works. Okay, guys, as you can see, it is lit. It should work. Let me shut the light off in here and show you what it does. Let me shut this light off in the garage. Let me show you the difference here. Now, at least you can see the light. That is huge difference, right? Now you can see the light, the light's on, let's see if it opens the garage door, and it does. It's just that simple. All right, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, I hope I brought you some value. I taught you how to do this. Appreciate your time as always. Thanks for watching. See you at the next video.